Okay, so now I will show you here how we can use pie chart versus cluster bar chart or cluster column chart. So the intention of uh, this video is I will show you how we can change the chat type and then you can see the information properly or you can have a proper visualization. For example, in this particular case, uh, this is the list that we are going to use or this is the data that we are going to use. If you look at, I have a product list where title column is there. This is a vendor column, uh, customer name, quantity, price, sales, date, and then delivery charges, city, location like this. I have uh, various columns are there and this is the data that we have. Now what I will do is I will open my Power BI desktop and then we will try to connect to this uh, uh, this particular uh, um, list. So I will open Power BI desktop. I can see here and uh, then I will just copy the URL. Uh, we require the SharePoint site URL because that is what we are going to connect. So I will click on get data and then more and then we will select the online one uh, online service and I will select SharePoint list and I'll say connect. So once you click on connect, it will ask you for the URL. So I put the SharePoint site URL. Next, uh, we will select the table. In this case, I have the product table. And as I said before, even if you load, then everything will be loaded. Um, uh, into our Power BI, Power BI desktop. But if I'll click on transform data, then it will uh, uh, open the query editor. So this Power Query editor is where we can uh, change what are the columns that we require and then some, some things will change it here. Uh, before going to uh, further on, on the other things or uh, adding a chart, pie chart, we will see how little formatting that we can do. Uh, if you have not gone through the Power Query Editor, you can check that also. I have explained in a couple of videos on that. But in this video, first of all, uh, this is the Power Query Editor and here I will select the columns that we required. So in this case, I will select choose column here and I'll uncheck everything and I will only check the columns which are required. So in this case, I require these columns and that's the reason I'm selecting. And you can see here, I will take the vendor as well. I'll click on OK. So if you look at this, now this is our list. So title, customer name, quantity, uh, price, sales, state, delivery charges. You can see here the vendor is coming as a record. Uh, so how you can do that? You can click on this and then it will actually load everything you select and we require only the title column. So you can see here the title column. I'll take the title column here. You can see here, I'll click on OK and then vendor is coming. Now, I forget to tell you one thing that uh, this vendor is a lookup column. So it is coming from the vendor list. So if you'll see here, now this is the vendor list and from here uh, it is coming. So now uh, we have uh, this all this uh, uh, data we have. Now one important thing I, I, I think I told also in the previous uh, at, uh, tutorials, if I have not told, then we have to do the uh, 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 data type. So in this case, if you'll see here, um, um, you can see here the title and if you'll see the data type, it is coming as any. So instead of that, we will take text. In this case, similarly for customers, I'll select, I will take a, a, a text column quantity we required uh, uh, you know the whole number uh, similarly for price i will take uh, the whole number uh, sales date uh, so you can see here it is still coming as any we can take date type and then uh, we will change the other columns as well so delivery charges i will take uh, 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 delivery charges whole number uh, city i will take uh, text location text and finally i will take vendor also text type column so once this is done then you can click on uh, close and apply so that our data is ready so now you can see here it is applying the changes so then we can now add our chats so in this first of all uh, once this will be done what i'll do is i will add a pie chart here so if you'll see here I'll just click on this. Oops, this is not the pie chart. Let me just delete it. 
I will click on a pie chart. So if you see here now, this is a pie chart. I will just scroll down here. Now on this pie chart, um, if you will see, um, we will add some values on that. For example, I will take uh, uh, the legend here. Legend, I will put the title column. So you can see here as your desktop. This is what is the title we have. And then I will take the price in the value field. So if you now you will see here, now the price we took in the value uh, view field, sorry, in the value field. Next, what I'll do is let it be like this or imagine, suppose you, um, you want to know which is the, uh, which gave us the more sales or more price. Uh, when you will actually check out these things, we have imagine we have now three, six, nine, ten products only. And you can see how it is. It is very difficult for me to understand what is the growth of this, all this, or what is the sales growth of all these, uh, you know, uh, products. Um, but now imagine you have more columns. For example, we, we, instead of, you know, only this um, uh, 10 products, imagine we have 20 products, we have 100 products. Difficult to tell uh, which one we, we are getting highest sale, uh, probably, only for, for this particular diagram, we can tell this is what is providing more. Uh, but if you imagine you have 100 more products are there, it will be very difficult to tell if from this pie chart. Now, I will take one more chart here. So if I will take, uh, you know, um, uh, this uh, uh, cluster bar chart, so I will click on that and I will uh, put it here. So if you really notice, uh, uh, things here for example when I am doing a let's say I will put like this I'll scroll you can see a, a red bar is coming that is for the alignment so make sure that alignment is correct so that when we are adding a report the alignment should look perfect now in this uh, particular chat if you will if you will see I will add the same thing so I'll put a title over here and next I will add the price in the value value field. But now look at this. If you will see now, we know the first product is uh, it's giving more sale than this one, than this one. Probably if you want to know the uh, price, uh, then you can just go to the format and then you can say data label on. So the moment you will put data label on, you can see uh, the price as well over there. So you can see how it works and you can as a if you want to analyze the report this report is easily understandable then comparatively this report lot of places we are using pie chart so it's not about whether we what is the best chart you are using it is about which uh, which chart is fulfilling your business requirement uh, because you want to analyze uh, the product details right so um, in this chart if you'll see here you can easily know okay this is what is giving me more sale now, if you want to, let's say, uh, if you want to see the quantity over there, probably then you can just, uh, you can just go over here. You can put uh, in the tool tip, let's say you want to see the quantity so that if you scroll it, you can also see title price. It, it is coming title because we have a, a not change uh, on the, we, we didn't rename that, but anytime uh, you can go here uh, in the table uh, or you can go to transform data like here like this and here let's say this is the title column i will say rename it and i will say let's say i will say product name i'll click on enter now you can see here we renamed it i will say apply and close and you can see here it is doing the changes now so everywhere everywhere you can see here wherever title was coming now it was coming price and quantity by product name so instead of title it is coming now product name now this is how we can use this chart. If I will just change uh, to a cluster column chart. So if you'll see here, now it is coming this way. So in this case, what will happen is, uh, this will come, your quantity will come like this. So when you will hover, but instead of that, you can also put in the value so that you will be able to actually see um, uh, the the quantity also there in this chart. So this will actually will give you a better view comparatively in this scenario for the pie chart. 
in the uh, probably in the next video we will see how we can use the data card uh, i mean the card and with uh, the multi row card